Well, welcome to Muppet Making. And uh, I'm going to try to have some fun showing you how these kinds of Muppets are made. As you can see by, we have <laughs> three very different looking Muppets, but they're all based on the same head size. And I'll show you how they, to make them look so different. Uh, but just as an introduction, there's my hand, so you can see the size of, of an adult hand with these. These are smaller ones. I can still get my hand into them, but it's made mostly for um, smaller human beings, i.e. my kids, or grandkids. Uh, and so, <clears throat> but I'll show you different sizes as we go through this whole exercise of Muppet building, and hopefully you can have some fun doing it as well. <clears throat> it's a um, pretty inexpensive thing to do and can be a lot of fun. So each of these was, um, I had the template together, one, two, three, I built them and I'll show you just in a minute what that template looks like, but each of these is uh, sort of a creation of um, each of my grandkids. And uh, we had fun kind of building what each one would look like and I added my own little twist to them if I wanted to. But we have things like the noses are pretty close to the same. The mouths are pretty much the same. There's no teeth and there's teeth on this one. The eyeballs are clearly different. So you can see these are um, kind of bulging out. These are flat ones, but they have a little bit of a shape to an eye. And these are just your basic googly eye ones. And the hair, um, and whether you use eyebrows and things like that can make a big difference too. But in this case, this is old balloons for hair. I don't know where I got that idea from, but um, and this one has doll hair, which I'm not a big fan of because it gets stuck on everything. And this one is, yes, right there I did. <laughs> and this one is a kind of yarn. And this one has a hat. It's got a crown. This one, I just pulled all the hair up in a bow like that because it kept getting stuck to everything. So, But it makes it a little bow. And this one, you could say as a boy or a girl, I'm not sure which, with pink hair and pink eyebrows. But um, And then the other thing is I've given them different clothes. So these are... Um, little shirts that I've gotten from various places, mostly from Walmart for a buck each. I just keep an eye out for them, and it doesn't matter what they say. But those are uh, toddlers or newborn clothes, and they fit perfectly for them. This one has just a sock as its, um, as its body, and then we've glued a pair of wings on the back. You can see that. And a bow on the front, but I think the bow might have been on the sock. And then this one has just a sock as a body as well. Um, one of the grandkids decorated the mouth on this one, you can see, but we've done things like put a palette in there. This one doesn't have anything yet. I could put something in there. This one doesn't have anything in the mouth, but it has lots of teeth. Anyhow, that's just three examples. I think I'm up to 20 or something of these Muppets and still making them, having fun with them. Um, so I, I tend to look at these as... Um, items that can be roughhoused with the kiddos and they can have a great time with it. And so I don't really worry about them hurting them and not going to repair them or even just replace them if need be. All right, so let's jump in here and I'll show you the basics of making a round head like this. Actually, before I do that, I'll show you a variation on a theme. This is in progress and you can tell that's supposed to be a pumpkin, but it's a different head shape. You can see it's, it's more like a ball or more of a Mm, it's more like a football shape, but I decided to make this into a pumpkin and it'll eventually have a little hat that'll be orange with a green stem wherever that went to. I don't see it right here, um, but it'll have a little green stem sticking out and I'll keep you up to date on that. And I had some fun trying to build a mouth that'll move. In this case, it'll just have a flat mouth across here that'll open up and close rather than be like these other ones. You can see the other Muppets have in essence, an overbite mouth. This one won't have any, any mouth at all to it. So it'll look different from the other Muppets, which is kind of fun to do. Um, so let me show you the templates and how these round heads are made. Get these guys back out of the way a little bit. I'll keep one of them in there. Actually, this one you can see the best, I think. It sort of sits up like that. So this is the template I'm using, and I got that off the internet, and I'll put a, a link to it, a PDF that I have of this. And I've done various sizes, and you can see what I've written on here is this is a medium round head, which is the size of these guys here. I have a larger one. This one shows the diameter is about five and a half inches. Um, and I've got 
a smaller one than this, which is, I forgot, I think, are these the smaller ones or the bigger ones? Yeah, this, this is the bigger one. Sorry, I'm <laughs> getting mixed up myself. This is the medium sized one because that fits this template right here, I think. Doesn't it? No, that's a, this is the smaller one here. Um, and the smaller one is going to be a little bit smaller than these. So these are the medium ones. And this is a medium head here, I think. Or is that a small? That's a small head. No, that's the same as that one. So we have a small one like this, and we have a medium one like this. So that's, this is the size that these guys are, and this is a smaller size, which I didn't bring one in here, but let me go do that right now, hang on. Okay, so these two are the smaller size. Sorry for that confusion there. Smaller size are these size, and that's this template here, folded up, and I'll show you how that works. And these are the bigger size, which is, this template and it's this size foam which I'll show you in a minute but that's what these three are up here are <clears throat> so without further ado let me show you folding these into a head and what that looks like okay so I'm going to show you this which is again this sized head I'm going to show you how we did this this one right here as the beginning. So it starts off, as I just said a minute ago, starts off as a flat piece like this. And what these different templates do, which is great, here's the cardboard cutout that I did. What they end up, let me turn it over so you can see it. And yeah, there we go, that like that. So what, what you do is just trace it onto this foam, which is Oh, half inch foam. Again, I get it at Walmart for next to nothing. Comes in a big roll. Cut it out, and then you start to fold it into the shape. And I'll show you what that looks like. Is is on the template. It says where to put the glue, but you put glue along in here, and it then glues that together like that. And when you do it that way, it starts to turn it into a a half of a head or a, a half circle or half sphere, if you might. And when you pull these together, again, it does the same thing of pulling it around into a sphere. Here's one that's kind of in progress. And you can see that as I pull this together, it starts to pull these together into a circle. And what will happen is these two will eventually glue together. And this makes the mouth. I don't know if that's obvious to you, but that'll come down there. This will glue around there. And there's the mouth, just like this one is already as a unit. <clears throat> it's it's kind of fun when you first start doing it because you realize you're going to take that um, two-dimensional uh, surface and turn it into a three-dimensional surface. Uh, the, the trick here is how you put those together. And a lot of the Muppet makers I've seen online, which you can watch their videos as well, they'll use um, uh, rubber cement, which is a great way to do it, and I'll tell you the pros and cons. Um, I've also used, in this particular head, I used a glue gun. The glue gun is great, it's fast, because you can just sort of put it on there, but the difficulty is glue, glue guns, because they're so hot, you have to hold it together for a good minute and a half, two minutes before you can let go. With rubber cement, you put it on, let it dry, and then you can stick all of the parts together. The hot glue clearly is difficult and, and a little dangerous because you can get it on your fingers. So I end up wearing um, these kinds of gloves regularly when I'm doing it because it helps keep my fingers from getting burned. But you can do it either way. Um, I'd say if I was in sort of my construction um, manufacturing production mode, like I am here where I've got a number of, of these cut out, I probably would go and just coat the surfaces with rubber cement, let them dry, and then they, they assemble much more quickly and without much fuss. So that would be my, my thoughts on rubber cement versus, uh, versus uh, hot glue, but both work. Um, so the other thing is that to remember is that even though the template shape is like this, you don't have to be perfect on it. 
you can get close. You can see there's bumps and lumps. It almost brings new character to the Muppets because you can you can do different things with their faces. You can see how there's unevenness here that I didn't get it glued together quite right there that you can see the seam on their head there. But remember, you could be covering up a lot of their head with hair. The back of it, you won't see probably very much at all. Um, and then you're gonna be gluing a nose potentially in the front so that it covers up that seam as well. So mostly you're just trying to get it so that the mouth will be there and you see, for those of you who know about recognizing faces, we tend to look for eyes, a nose, and a mouth shape, and then all of a sudden that's a face to us. And most importantly are the eyes. And so as long as we have eyes there, um, we're in good shape. So I'm going to let that be the end of our first video. And then I'll, uh, I'll start you on a second video where we assemble a couple of these. And I'll show you putting on the glue. I'll show you um, how to stick them together. And uh, once they're, they have the um, rubber cement on, I'll show you how quickly they come together. Uh, one thing I got, forgot to mention is that um, these colors that I've gotten them, that's just spray paint. Regular old rattle can spray paint, and, and I look for the weirdest colors I can get. Some of these I've kind of done different things, like this particular one. It's red, but I've sprayed a little gold with it just to have some fun. You can see some gold spray up in there. So did a little gold overspray on that one. Just I don't know why, just did. Um, so... There's a lot of fun things that you can do if you're in creative mode. There's a lot of, this is a, a fun craft for kiddos because they can pick out what clothes the Muppet wears uh, and then you can put them together that way. By the way, the clothes glue on the same way. You can either use hot glue or you can use rubber cement. They both seem to be pretty durable. Um, so I'll make our second video about putting the glue on and, and getting to this shape. And our third video, we'll talk about putting the mouth inside. And to be honest, it, it starts to get kind of complicated when you're looking at putting a mouth inside because that's what the mouth will look like. And that has to go in there in such a way that you can, it's, it shows, oops, I'm going to get it upside down the other way here. It shows as the top of the mouth, there it is in place like that. But this structure of this is such that you can put your hand into it and make the mouth go up and down. So it's comfortable to put your hand in, but that's what that little space in that mouth is for is that you can make the mouth go up and down like that. So you make two of these and then glue them together so that it makes a mouth. And then you have that mouth structure like here. And I can't show you the inside because it's got the thing there. But you make the mouth structure so that it looks like it's a mouth. But you can see back there that it's not connected all the way in back there. All right. So thanks for watching. And we'll get on to the next video of gluing heads together.